Okay, we're looking at an Asus. What is it? X five 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 Hell L. Screen flickering is probably due to the fact that there's not much power coming from the battery, so that's struggling. And the other thing is, when it does eventually boot, which I don't think it will, we've got a problem: is hard drive failure. So we're just going to quickly show you how to get the hard drive out. So eventually it's come on, but we've got. There we are, got it now. So we're going to have a look. It definitely is a hard drive failure. So I'm going to show you how to take the hard drive out. But the trouble is when you start dealing with stuff like this, flip it over, we've got one, two, three, four, four screws already missing, so someone's already been into it. So you never know what you're going to find. We've got one there, it's stuck, it's not even coming out. This is going to be a good one. If it gets to the point like this, I usually say now I can't fix it and give it them back. It's not worth a hassle. Oh, see this? Look, screws missing. Screws, my hands being in the way. It's definitely been into before. That's just spinning. Where's that one? Oh, great. So, how do we know that someone's actually been into this machine before? Because watch this. That's how we know. And it's still powering on. Right. So someone's definitely been in here before. And what we're going to do is change the hard drive. There we go. Something's wrong here. There we go. So I'm going to pull the clip back. So with this, what you do with these, and in here, can you see that in there? Just lift this little tab up, like that. That will come out. And this one here, you just pull forward. And that pops out. And that frees the keyboard then. Okay, then here, same one, just lift the tab up. That disconnects the hard drive from that. We can leave that on there, you can do both sides if you want to, it doesn't really matter. So we can get the hard drive, because it looks like it's stuck, well, I'm going to pull it off in here, because we've got to change the hard drive. Ooh. I don't like doing that. Ugh. That's scary, you don't, want to, you don't want to damage the ribbon. Okay, so we unscrew that. We unscrew this. And I think as well, they're not gonna slide backwards like that. And then up she comes, gently does it, because you're sliding underneath electronic boards. Oh, that's not good, is it? Okay. Looks like I have to undo that circuit board screw. That's it. Mm. Right. So, what we'll do now, we'll change this hard drive, swap it out for another one, and uh, see if that solves the problem. And we reload Windows. Okay, taking that out of the way. Because it's a new, the new, the nuisance. Popping back in, like so. Popping back in like that. That doesn't feel right, does it? Yeah. So all we've done is just reversed it, put it back in, put the um, card back in again, and then we'll replace that screw there. Then we replace the rest of the screws as well, and then I'll just show you the ribbon. I'm going to bore you with it. So don't forget, flip that up. 
and just gently you should just pop in you've got to push him in firm and then lock it same with this one if you can see that without my big fingers getting in the way so push him home and lock no it's not right see the one corner sticking out that's it now it's in and then lock okay and take him back down and then we'll put all the screws back in again now we'll bore you with that and then we'll put windows on and see how we get on and if the hard drive has worked or solved the problem or not so putting the keyboard on is a little bit more awkward because we've got to get back underneath so remember you've got to lift the tab up so that went in uh, you need two hands so hold him in place put pressure on down he goes and same with this one so up goes a little tiny tab That's it, push him in, down goes the tab, and that's it. So then they all frankly just fall down into place. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I'm not keen on doing this one because it's been apart and someone's been fiddling. So, I don't hold much hope out. So, that looks better. So insert boot media because there's no windows or any drives on it. So I'll get James now, uh, our techie, to um, load windows and see if it uh, has repaired the problem. Okay. We paused. No. No. Okay. Thanks for watching. If it was any good to you, subscribe, like, and share. Take care. See you in the next vid.